Hey guys, it's Larissa Takshi, MasterChef winner 2019, and I'm here with Castle Towers. Aussies love a good lunch on the run, whether that's a good sanger, a sausage roll, but there is a new sandwich on the menu that is growing more and more popular every day. And that, my friends, is a bar mi roll, or a Vietnamese roll. Traditionally, you see these rolls made with pork, but I'm going to show you a much quicker version using sticky beef sirloin instead. So, first things first, we've got our beef sirloin here from Chop Butchery. As you can see, it's being chopped up into thin strips. Now, to make the marinade for the beef, we're gonna add a few condiments to this bowl, mix it all together, add the beef, and we're gonna let that sit to marinate for a few minutes. So here I've got some soy sauce, got a bit of sugar to add a bit of sweetness, ground black pepper. I've got some ground garlic into the bowl. And finally, we've got some fish sauce. So all these ingredients I got from Miracle Supermarket. Now it's just a matter of stirring that all through. Oh, already can smell how fragrant this is gonna be. Okay, so that's all mixed through, and now it's time to add the beef to marinade. Give that a nice toss through. And now straight away, let's get onto our carrot and daikon pickle. So in a small bowl, we're going to add some sugar. We've got some rice wine vinegar here. And now we're just gonna add half a cup of water to the vinegar mix. Stir that through. And we're just gonna keep stirring this until the sugar has dissolved into the liquid. Okay, sugar has dissolved. And now it's time to add our vegetables. So here I've got some fresh carrot and I've got some fresh daikon, all from Fresh World at Castle Towers. So we're just gonna mix this through. There's a lot of vinegar in here. You can probably save it for the next time you make this. And this is a great pickle to have in the fridge as well. Okay, so let's put this pickle to the side and we're gonna start cooking the beef now. When cooking the beef, we're gonna use peanut oil that I got from Miracle Supermarket. Ooh, yeah, baby. Okay, this is perfectly cooked. It's nicely charred and you can smell all the fragrant condiments throughout that. Now for the fun part. We're going to start building our Vietnamese beef roll. So here we've got some crusty long white bread from Shepherd's Bakehouse. And we're gonna start off by spreading some chicken pate on the base. Now I got this from Jean-Louis Joseph. And it's just a matter of spreading that generously on one side. Now for those that don't like chicken pate, you're very welcome not to use it. <laughs> now we're gonna add some mayonnaise. This is also optional. Let's add some fresh cucumber, which is from Fresh World. Okay, so now we're gonna add this daikon and carrot pickle. Now before you pile this on, just squeeze as much moisture out of that as you can. So it doesn't make the bread soggy. Okay, so we're gonna pop it on this side. And already you can see all the different colors on this roll. Okay, so we've got our pate, mayonnaise, cucumber, the pickle, and now it's time to add the beef. So let's be generous with this sticky, glossy beef. Just pile in the middle there. Okay, now for the toppings. So the Maggie seasoning right on top of the beef. Gonna sprinkle on those fresh herbs. So fresh coriander. We've got some fresh chilies. Perfect. Now don't mind me, I'm just gonna take a big bite of this. Mmm, that is amazing. Now, not all good things are bad. These are fresh, they're fragrant, perfect for the family or healthy eating, or better yet, you can add it to your kids' lunch boxes. 